This is taking a brand new P011 out of the box. There's the box. Taking brand new E011 Ishin um, whoop, and we're going to add a lead for a camera, and we're going to add a connector for doing. Um, flashing the silverware uh, firmware for Acro, which uh, this is kind of my approach to doing this, using the ST-Link dongle. Um, by uh, using a 4-pin, since we're going to be doing this like as completely as we can, we can uh, put a connector in here that uses all four pins like so and then the connector even though we only care about three pins for the silverware flashing um, we can actually just choose which three we want to use uh, adjacent to one another like that see that we can either plug it in on this side or on this side um, and of course we can always change the pins here by removing wires out of the plug uh, and reorienting them, repositioning them. So the two operations that we're going to do on this board are we're going to solder um, that um, female jack onto the board and then we're also going to take this um, little mini J micro JST connector and we're going to put that onto the power leads here here so that uh, we can plug in a camera. And the finished result is going to look like this. We'll have a camera and here we've got it in the whoop canopy and then we're just going to connect it to power on the flight controller board. So this is what the finished product is going to look like. Where are you? Tuck all the wires in there and then you can attach the canopy and you've got yourself a solid whoop quad. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, easy peasy. We're going to uh, flux our wires. I've got some flux paste here on the right. There, I've used uh, a swab with some uh, isopropyl. So I've cleaned the contacts here and uh, also cleaned here as well. So, excuse me. Okay, we've got a hot solder iron waiting for us. Um, and we've got some solder here, so now let's get started. Clear that, clear that. Got some helping hands over here. Just gonna use these to put a little pressure. I'll just fit that jack in there. And put a little pressure here on the board with their helping hands. There you go. And um, I want to apply some flux paste on this as well. Actually, let's do it this way. I'm just going to stick this into the flux paste. I'm getting better at using more and more flux paste, which uh, um, I don't know why I've been so stingy, but we're going to try and correct that uh, bad habit of mine. There we go. Okay, we've got that. We've got this. And we've got our solder iron. The cool thing about this that I'm learning is since... Um, cool thing that I'm learning here is that uh, with the use of flux we can uh, uh, let the materials do the work for us and then if we have to clean up which I actually did on the other um, quad uh, we can use some flux wick and uh, clear things up so 
just gonna get on here and get enough heat onto there. That's it. Should be simple. And we're gonna clean it up with some alcohol at the end. And then um, I'm just gonna add some some more solder onto here. Let's see. Put some flux on that as well. And some solder. Oh, let's. I just watched some NASA videos on proper technique. Well, I shouldn't say proper because a lot of different things work, but um, using techniques that are robust. So I'm going to add a nice bead of solder there. And then we can <clears throat> tin our wires here. And then we're going to check polarity. It's showing that our positive is on the, what would that be, the starboard side? So here, I'm going to orient this so that the wires go into the middle of the board. I'm not following NASA spec on how frequently I'm refreshing my solder, but here we go. That is all we need hardware wise for prepping our E011 for silverware and for um, the camera. Uh, and that's that. I just completed putting this one in here. Finally found a something that I felt comfortable putting the flame canopy on. And here's the whiteboard that we just soldered with the camera connected. There's the camera connected. Hot glued into the canopy. I'm just gonna like tuck the wires like so. And then uh, oh, let's go with blue. I've got a matching blue loom band. I'm not a fashionable person, so this is very just kismet. Uh, and we'll just kind of tidy up the, the bands there. Boom. Keep things a little straight. Alright, so now I've got matching E011, whoops, um, this one has already been flashed with uh, silverware, um, and this one has not yet been done. I'm just keeping this stock so that I can hand it to somebody else and they can fly it uh, without having to be a, uh, a pilot. Um, <clears throat> and um, heading over to Joshua Tree music festival tomorrow. I'm hoping to be able to play with these uh, maybe in the crowds and have some fun, stoke some, stoke some people and we'll see what kind of video I come back with. Anyway, thanks very much.